Our first stop on the show is Berlin, the capital of Germany. With a population of 3.5 million people, it's the country's largest city and one of the most populous urban areas in the European Union. Located in the heart of the capital is the Berlin War Memorial, one of the most popular tourist destinations in the country. After the national team's triumph in the FIFA World Cup, football is understandably on something of a high. But we're here for another sport, one that's beginning to enjoy some success of its own. Hello and welcome to Berlin. We're here at the lovely Berlin Maifeld. Uh, it's a lovely place to play cricket, two pitches side by side. And this is us hosting an international women's 2020 tournament. Hopefully the first of many such tournaments. And uh, we've got a lot of very interested cricketers, a couple of thousand and growing. And uh, the women's cricket scene is something that we're especially trying to develop as well as youth cricket, of course. So it was time to put on the cricket gear and travel to the Mai Field, part of the world famous Olympic Park that was built in 1936. The venue has to be dealt with quite carefully. However, we managed to do that and what we have now here, several nations playing together, a sport which is not common in, in this country, but on this Mai Feld. Um, and, and it's great to see that's integration, that's that women playing sports, we've got it all here, we've got it all set up. And it's just great to see, we, we, we have given this venue a new meaning, and that is what counts. The first edition of the Women's T20 Tournament was held in the Netherlands in 2012. Since then, it has been played regularly between the European nations. The response for this year's tournament has been tremendous, seeing an increase in the number of participating teams from four to seven. With this kind of enthusiasm and excitement, the stage was set for some enthralling cricket. Four countries have hosted the tournament so far, and the European administrators of the sport have been working hard to make sure that all the countries learn from their experiences. Most cricket boards in Europe are actually really well linked, okay? So we all know each other. We get together organizing those events. I mean, this is now the, four, the fourth time this has taken place. So that's a big network. We all know what we do and uh, we talk a lot of, about goals and targets. We set ourselves and um, we often find ourselves in the same, same position, so we, there are gains uh, of talking to each other. Yeah. With this year's tournament in Germany, the players from the host nation were keen to put on a good show. It's definitely, I think, one of the, or the spe most special tournaments so far that I've been to because it's on the home grounds. I think for the girls, we rarely have anything at home. Uh, we went to Jersey last year, Belgium, uh, and also the Netherlands. And to finally be able to do it in the home grounds and have family and friends come over, obviously that's a really exciting thing. Make the, make the sport more known to the country. It's really exciting. With the increasing number of participating teams, each edition of the tournament has proven to be very competitive with a different champion each time. Competitions such as this provide a wonderful platform for visiting teams and all the women cricketers who are taking part to promote and advertise the game. Women's cricket is, is getting big. I think we need more, more competitions like this. This is fantastic for women's cricket. There's so much potential, there's so much talent, there's so much skill. We just need the opportunity to show it. Let's move on to the match action and the glorious Berlin summer that greeted the players and officials. After four days of tough competition, Italy finished on top of the table with 18 points, defeating Jersey in the final match by eight wickets. With that win, the Italians emerged as the champions for this year's International Women's T20 Tournament. We've got a, quite a few youngsters in our team this year um, and this is really kind of helping to grow the team in Italy. It's not a very well-known sport cricket in, in Italy, but they're trying really hard, the Federation, to get it up and coming, to get youngsters involved. 
So going home with a victory is really going to kind of egg that on. There are not very many clubs back home, probably six, two divisions. So if they can take home a victory and hopefully kind of branch out to, to encourage more people to play, that'll be fantastic. This kind of atmosphere, the celebrations, the energy levels are rarely seen in any event. Whether a player, official or a supporter, everyone was greeted with genuine warmth and good cheer. The four-day competition served as a wonderful showcase for women from the associate nations to demonstrate the depth of talent and their passion for the game. Tournaments such as this one can only serve to enhance the popularity of women's cricket in Europe in the years to come. <laughs>